Hello everybody, this is me again for Let's Play the Urdra Trilogy, Dragon Warrior! How's it? So today we're ready to start part two of the Urdra Trilogy. This is Dragon Warrior. I released in Japan in 1986 and here in America in 1989. Uh, this actually set the stage for a lot of RPGs. So let's go ahead and begin our quest. Um, now, given the story of the last Dragon Warrior, we're gonna go ahead and keep with the Lucky Star theme and name this uh, name this thing Minami. Now, the message speed that we won is actually fast because normal and slow are just way too slow. Uh, I thought it was descendant of Miyuki. Okay. So, the light orb that we used against Zoma was stolen. You know, for another lucky star broad, Miss Hannah Minx, she ain't. <laughs> okay, now, this is actually kind of different because this this game is very menu based. Normally, if you just wanted uh, if you wanted to take a treasure chest, all you, all you do is select search. Okay. Instead, you actually have to uh, instead instead you have to select take. 120 gold. Okay. Torch. Okay. Magic key. Very useless considering. We're going to be using it right now. Wait a second. Wasn't I supposed to warp to the next floor? Alright, Minami. Maybe she needs a running start. One, two, three! Go down the fucking stairs! Well,. Considering how menu-based this is, yeah, they actually have a stairs option. This is actually to avoid any accidental, uh, any accidental use of uh, use of stairs. Um, this is actually the only game in the series that I know of that has that issue. And well, I'm actually not gonna call it an issue because it does allow for uh, for cave grinding, and I completely missed my target. Okay, now with this 120 gold, we actually have a couple of sets that uh, that we can uh, that we can purchase with the weapon uh, with the weapon shop. I'm actually gonna go for the club and just the club for now because the offense that it provides is actually more than enough to survive uh, to allow us to survive. Now we're, we're within 10 gold of getting uh, getting the leather armor. So hey, why not? Now, this is a basic slime enemy, um, something like we've met in, you know, the past. Uh, three hit points, it won't necessarily pose too much of a threat. Uh, as you can see, one hit, um, one experience point, one gold piece. Now, considering, and this, before I continue, red slime, four hit points, one experience point, two gold pieces, and this thing's actually a little tougher. Because it will actually hit us by two more consistently. Now, a couple of things I'd like to mention. Uh, first off, stats are actually set, but at the same time, kind of random. Um, unlike most Dragon Warriors, your uh, your stats for the entire game are actually based on your name. And me myself, I do like defense, which is why I selected the name Minami because this is actually the most defensive. Uh, this is the most defensive name that we've got. Um, in a nutshell, I'm going to be packing a lot of agility and a lot of magic in comparison to other, uh, other names. Um, also, this game is very heavily, uh, heavy in grinding. In fact, out of the Urga Trilogy, this is going to be the game in which we grind the most in. In fact, you're looking at it right now. Yeah. Now... When it comes to our grinding, we do want to get up to about level four. I know a lot of people would look at me like I'm nuts because, you know, why not go up to level three? You know, save, save yourself a little time. But here's the problem. First off, we need to get up to 190 gold, uh, gold pieces. Now, we are almost there. Uh, we are, well, about uh, a little over a third of the way there. Um, we're, we're almost, uh, we're almost to a point where we can pick up our leather armor. The reason, sorry, it's 160. The reason we want to get a, 
Yeah, 160. The reason we want to get up to that point in time is because we not only want the leather armor, but we also want the leather shield. Now, a lot of... Sweet. Power increased by one. Whoop-de-doo. Hit points increased by six. Whoop-de-doo. Now, the reason we want the leather armor and leather shield as opposed to the copper sword is because offense is, is going to be there. For now, offense is going to be there. We need defense. Because as it stands right now, we're going to get our ass kicked by anything not called a slime. Or a red slime. And it will get even worse if we decide to explore past this, uh, this initial area. Now, another reason I say level 4 is mainly for the new players. The new players are actually going to find it really difficult because of how random the damage counter is. And normally I would say I say that gingerly or I say that loosely, but let's be honest. The damage counter in this game is fucking random. You can have an attack power of 150, and basically how they, uh, how they sort out attack power is... By the way, these are our stats. Half, uh, your damage is half your attack power plus uh, plus a random number, a uh, random number generator, based on if it's a critical hit or not. Um, also, they, uh, they factor in half the target's defense. Now, how your base defense is generated is half your agility, uh, while your strength is, gen is generated strength plus attack power, uh, plus weapon power, sorry. That's actually your attack power, strength plus weapon power. So, how they sort damage? Half your damage, uh, half your attack power, uh, for a regular hit is half your attack power, uh, plus a certain number, minus half your opponent's defense power. Which is why we have an attack power of nine, but we're only doing twos and threes. Despite this, this is very anti-user later on. You can have an attack power of 150 and still deal about 20 to 30 damage. Now, another thing we need to be aware of is, again, uh, damage calculation, because critical hits don't take into account your opponent's defense. So you can have a critical hit of about 5 damage. It's half your attack power plus a, uh, plus a random number if it's a critical hit. They, again, they don't take into account your opponent's defense, which is complete and utter bullshit. The reason I say it's complete and utter bullshit is because, well, they really need to allow for more damage for critical uh, for critical hits. Now, another thing that could end up happening is a critical miss. I've actually had that happen a couple of times. In fact, on average, I see about one critical miss per game. In fact, the joke that <laughs> that I ran in uh, in the Hypnosis episode, you know, last episode in the Surgery Trilogy. I actually saw three critical misses. Basically, it's the attack sound plus the critical hit sound plus you miss. Ha ha! Go fuck yourself. Yeah, yeah, fuck you too, Enix. Now, despite all the grinding that uh, that this game um, that this game makes you do, you know what? I just noticed I have enough enough money for the leather armor. Might actually want to go pick it up. Um. This actually set the stage for a lot of RPGs, including but not limited to Final Fantasy. Now, it did, it did borrow heavily, and a lot of uh, a lot of fans would actually say stealing as opposed to borrowing um, from the Dungeon Dungeons and Dragons game. So, due to Final Fantasy, Dungeons and Dragons actually set the stage for RPGs, which is why a lot of people would say, you know, this game stole from Dungeons and Dragons. But this actually set the stage for the uh, console RPG. Without this game, then uh, we wouldn't have console RPGs. This, again, includes Final Fantasy because you gotta remember, at this time, uh, Square really wasn't doing too badly, but their possible bankruptcy pre-Final Fantasy was looming in the shadows. They didn't actually have, uh, have Final Fantasy planned uh, before this. Now, the Dragon Warrior uh, series ended up becoming a staple series for the uh, for Enix, uh, a staple that's uh, that were felt to this day. In fact, recently, uh, Dragon Warrior Six uh, was re uh, was released in America for the very first time. 
Now, it's a, it was actually released as Dragon Quest VI. This game was originally known as Dragon Quest. Um, however, for some really bizarre reason, I really don't know what that reason was, they ended up naming it Dragon Warrior. Uh, following Dragon Warrior 7, they ended up retiring the Dragon Warrior name in America, so we will never see another Dragon Warrior game. If it's a game that fits the Dragon Warrior series, it's going to take its original, original name of Dragon Quest. So, yeah, yeah, what can you do? Okay, now, for those of you that are, are actually playing along, you're, you're looking for 23 experience points, so we're almost there. And level 3 is actually a really important level for us. And when we get there, if we ever get there, okay, this is one part I don't like about this game. At times, the random encounter rate can be very brutal against you, saying, okay, you're going to run into a fight every two steps. But at times, you can run around for about, oh, five minutes in between random encounters. And in the early going, that is absolutely fucking pathetic. Now, what I was going to say before I went on to that rant, we're going to find out why 23, uh, 23 experience? Why level 3 is so important to us as we get there. Now, our next monetary uh, goal is 90 gold pieces. Yeah, if you decide you want to do that using slimes, it's going to take forever. So, eventually, we're going to be going into stronger enemies, but we're not actually going to move on to the next place until we get that leather shield. Okay, it is 23 experience. Now, when it comes to uh, how we're going to be playing this game, because of how heavily it relies on grinding, again, normally I would cut out grinding, but... And, and for the most part, I will. This is probably the only bit of grinding that you're really going to see throughout this game. There might be other times, and I'll let you know when that is. But this game relies fucking heavily on grinding. There aren't enough dungeons to walk you through from level 1 to the level cap, which happens to be 30. By the way, this game... If I'm not mistaken, now correct me if I'm wrong, if I'm not mistaken, this game actually has the worst level cap in the history of Dragon Warrior, as in level 30. Now, in terms of playthroughs, sweet, now we're going to see why this, uh, this level is so important. Okay. Yes! We finally get magic, which means now we no longer have to spend money on inns. Now, this game actually got a notorious rap because actually it's something we never explored in Dragon Warrior 3, I don't think. Again, it's been so fucking long since I actually been to Tentacle Castle in Dragon Warrior 3, I don't remember. If you talk to this guy, Minami's coming was foretold by legend, may light sh I might light shine upon this brave warrior, we get our magic back. Now, I'm sure you notice he doesn't actually revive your health. That's actually where we come in. You see, now we have the opportunity to revive our health for free by using our magic. Then we talk to this guy and get our magic back. Now, that's actually something that I really like because gold is tough to come by. Um, now, going back to how we're going to be playing this game, uh, I'm uh, you're, you see a lot of low-level runs. I'm actually going to be playing this game up to level 30, mainly for the new player, because the new player is going to struggle, and you're going to see uh, throughout the course of this playthrough that even I struggle. I'm a 20-year veteran in this game, and I still struggle at times. So, and, and again, it's mainly based on the random, uh, random number generators when generating damage, as in, you still could possibly get your ass kicked at, at, in the late 20s in level. So, we're going to be playing this all the way up, uh, we're going to be going through this all the way up to level 30. Uh, on that, um, again, you really want to grind up until about, oh, 90 gold pieces, maybe level 4, um, uh, back at Tantagold. Though, if you really wanted to advance a little bit, you can. I wouldn't go too much, uh, not past right about here because here you're gonna start running into drakies and poltergeists and they will uh do quite a bit of damage to you there's your excellent move 
Yeah, you see, it dealt just above half uh, half my attack power in damage. We may end up seeing a uh, an excellent miss in this game. So I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode right about here. When we come back, we're going to do more level grinding. And that's actually because there's more that, uh, that needs to be explained. I will see you all on the other side. Hasta lasagna.